Hello, my Geminis. Welcome back. I want to get straight into it. I don't want to do my whole spiel. Most of you know the deal, right? Okay, so if you want to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. <clears throat> okay, so real quick, I am getting something that you're attached to, you may need to let go of. You may need to learn to let go of this. This thing gives you a lot of anxiety. It could be a relationship. It could be a home thing, a commitment, business. I don't know, but it's like you're very attached to it. But I'm getting that you're attached to the memory of it. You're not attached to what it is now. Okay? So something to think about. Also, um, first card out, patience. You will be successful in something that you're doing. What you're doing and working on requires patience because it builds over time. It is not something that you just poof into existence overnight. It has to be creative. It has to be, I'm getting thought of. But you will get your wish after a long, hard road here. This Five of Swords, but the Nine of Cups. You will get your wish, despite all the fighting and, and obstacles that you've encountered to do this. Someone in your life may like to start arguments as well. This could be a marriage or someone in your family. They would be kind of like, uh, they're a head of a household or like the, they're the head of something. So they're like, high up in status in in their work life or in, in just your family dynamic. They hold a decently high seat. However, they like to argue. They may start arguments with you on purpose. This person may over self-indulge or you think they do. Also, um, a book could be relevant. I'm just getting like a lot of logic, a lot of words. It's like you're studying here, you're, tr you're reading something, you're really trying to figure it out. And um, this has to do, I feel very much so with business or something like that, school, business, something that's um, working towards your personal happiness here. It will lead you to so you could be thinking of a story or just you have started on a new path that's going to be very successful. Um, but you've been waiting for this for a long time, I feel like. So you. But there, I'm getting there's something that you were missing. There was something unclear that hadn't been fixed or needed to be rewritten or redone. It's just taking a lot of time. Seven months, seven years. But you do have the right idea or the, the the feminine energy. So for those of you that are working with, if you're, if you're feminine or if you're working with a feminine energy, there's something about, there's a female that's key to this. Their input, their logic, their words, something like that. There could be a renewal for you, actually. It's like I see two people. It's a... It's either a man and a woman, or like a masculine and feminine energy, or this is just a divine balance of the two. The ability to balance perfectly your masculine and your feminine, creating a lot of self-love a lot of healing and happiness from the past, a lot of support from your family. I feel like um, you guys have very supportive parents I'm picking up on, the Geminis that I'm, they're very supportive of what you wanna do. A lot of you may be into, um, I'm getting things that are attractive, visually appealing, I'm getting visuals big time, flowers, clothing, um, like scenery here. Locate, there's locations. This could be creative. Some of you, I'm getting the word love story. So for those of you that are creating or in some sort of production or writing, 
You could find success in a love story. In writing a love story. But um, now I am feeling like in regards to like a love connection. For those of you that are dealing with somebody from the past or that you've known from a very long t for a very long time, like maybe even in childhood, this person is a kindred spirit to you, and I'm feeling really good things about your connection. You, there's a reason why you guys were brought together or back together. This union is meant to exist. There could be a lot of happiness here, but there needs to be a change, a change of heart, a change. A softening of the heart and understanding. Somebody beginning to understand the other. There's a lot of feminine energy, so you may work around a lot of women. These women are brilliant. The women in your life that you deal with. They're brilliant. They all have something different to offer, which is quite interesting. Um, you could be very physically attracted to um, someone here that's well off. I don't feel like they talk about being well off, but they are. They could have just got a new job as well. Um very sexual energy here with this person. They may actually have your heart, but you just don't say it or they don't say it to you. I feel like because there's other business that needs to be handled. I don't know. There's just this kind of... Some of you could also feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign that they're not very committed to this. You could feel like they're kind of um, controlling and temperamental. Earth or fire, maybe, or whatever, whatever feels right for you. But I feel like you're kind of, there's something else, like there's two, um, a male and a female is very important, a poor, important connection for business. Okay, because this male brings this male brings something from the heart into it. Like he puts all of his heart into it. And this female puts she's brilliant here. I'm seeing this feminine energy is just brilliant. She has wonderful ideas. And they they come in, they she the I can't even say it. <laughs> the combination of you two could be an unstoppable business I'm getting. And this is a masculine feminine partnership because you guys bring, it's like what one person is missing, the other person is good at. This connection will cause a major change with the death card here when you have Scorpio popping up. Scorpio doesn't play. So Scorpio comes to kill and rejuvenate. It's just the natural order. It helps the natural order along. But again, this ending, this change, this scorpionic energy is bringing in this passionate new opportunity. This collaboration can bring in a new opportunity, a new offer. Some of you, this could be a relationship, but I am getting more a dynamic of pentacles, earthly things moving forward in regards to just creating stuff. I think that there is a soulmate involved in this. I'm just, you have two energy. You know, like I said, there's a lot of women here, so I think there could be a romantic partner. And then I, I think there could be also a business partner that you're working with. And both of them could be soulmates and just have different purposes in your life.
but I'm not sure um, if there's an air sign. They won't like this other person. Air or water, or no, wait. They're not, okay, hang on. The air sign, which is you, okay, but I don't know why I thought you were dealing with another air sign. I was kidding that. You could be dealing with another air sign, but um, I feel like somebody's not going to like you or something. They're going to find you threatening. Or someone will find the person you're working with threatening. If you, uh, you may choose to walk away from an earth sign as well, or you'll want to. You may not like what they have to say or their, their offer or something like that, the way they communicate. I don't know. I just see you being interested in something else here. I just feel like somebody's not interested in the bossy controlling person. There's somebody bossy and controlling here or doesn't lead very well. So at the bottom of the deck, we have walking away. But I, um, you know, walking away is a good thing if it's not where you want to be. You could, you could actually not be physically walking away from something. You could just be, you know, walking away has two interpretations. It's like, are you walking away or are you walking towards something else? Essentially, both are the same thing. It's just how you look at it. I feel like in this case, you, Gemini, taking it to a positive aspect of that yes maybe you did walk away but it's because you were walking towards something else something more balanced over here getting rid of the toxic energy healing looking for new opportunities as opposed to waiting on the old ones so yeah okay all right well that's what i have for you um gemini Enjoy the retrograde as much as you can, okay? Bye-bye.